this is the overall structure when you take this particular concept okay so this is how the use case is now we will see in our service now till this point everyone clear yes sir yes yes okay yes, so first of all let's take one simple scenario okay uh, one of you any questions ma okay one okay so one of you is working for a company and you have <coughs> let's say you are you are like abel tutor your name is abel tutor or something okay and you are supporting something like maybe azure support or any name you want to give okay aws support okay you are a manager of aw work aw project okay so now you join to this project you are about to start it okay then you see here every terminology just try to notice it ma this is how the real time things are okay he joined and he is starting a project for that project for that handling of the project he have 10 resources okay along with him 11 11 11 people are there okay he joined it and he is recruiting also so he got 10 resources so how the 10 resources should be part of service no system first they should be in the users right they should be part of users so able tutor we already created okay and he got 10 more users so he sent a mail or he created a ticket to service no platform support team okay so request came to service no platform support team this is our team you call it as yourself as admin or a developer or implementer whatever but you are part of this team and you manage this request because you will be or maintaining the user administration here okay so abel tutor sent a mail or sent a ticket maybe a kind of request ticket it's not an issue ticket but a request ticket okay and then he given the details an excel sheet he given so this is my new team these people are joining to our organization please add them to be part of our platform then service no platform team will take the request and then they will go to one place called okay users users okay and see here in user administration is there okay when you are seeing this particular navigation now first of all what you call this particular left side one is navigator okay this terminology of this one is navigator this one where you are searching and uh, uh, scrolling selecting all these things are under navigator okay in the navigator if you see here there are so many options are there initially we call it as options okay and even one, in one option there are multiple options sub options if you see self service this is one option and inside that we have other options okay so if you take one example the one which we normally see incident see here incident is one option under incident we have sub options if i click this one it is showing all the incidents of the system okay the main option will be called as application okay and under the application the sub options will called as modules okay and now see here i am saying incident is an application create new open resolved all all these things are modules is that clear yes 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 any yes. notes here sir. yeah no yes okay so first thing okay uh, first to note and see here now from here maybe just you can see so many applications so what this one will be called as the products module module okay module very good so like this okay here we have okay user administrator there is one thing one application called user administrator administration okay user administration under that you have users so this is the place where you see all the users of the system okay 
So now, as per uh, the Sabil Tutor, AWS Manager, what we need to do? What we got a request? We got a request of okay creating 10 users. So how you create a user? Just go here, click it, new, and this is the user page. <coughs> okay, user ID is one of the important thing. Let's say I'll take okay. Uh, in, okay, I can't take your names because I'm recording it. Let's take um, Okay, so these are my favorite two can characters Antonio Bessanio from uh, that. What is that? Uh, Shakespeare uh, this one, right? So let's take those are our uh, two users okay so let's take uh, users i'm just creating a uh, first user andreas antonio it's not andreas it's antonio besanio you know that uh, that uh, naval macbeth yes macbeth um, i forgot the name of it shellark will be there where is a money lender he will give the money to antonio and ask the flesh <coughs> greedy greedy money lenders okay it's it's fine for us not that much important for service now uh, okay so see here i am taking the input something like this antonio okay antonio ab okay here i will say antonio ab the user id is one of the important part just notice it i will tell you why important and then the email id okay uh, it will be something like this okay this one email id will be generated okay in exchange email system will be there in the system okay there it will be generated and it will be shared to able tutor able tutor will give to us and able tutor is their manager okay and title maybe developer aws developer these and all strings you can pass anything okay, department it maybe you can say these are all optional okay maybe in organizations they are uh, mandatory okay i am setting one password okay ma so this is very default user creation okay in real time you may have different different structures users will be coming from user management tool okay maybe something called uh, idm or something i am not touching all of them if you already knew it don't confuse okay so i am only taking one tool and i am creating as a plain system that's it okay so password i'm setting a default password and i will be sharing that password to the manager so that the manager will share to them and first time it will ask to change okay now i'm saving this one okay save Okay, maybe password need reset also you can keep it that time maybe first time if he if he log in then it will ask to change okay for as, as it is a demo then we don't want to do all of them so like this you need to create 10 users is that clear so this is what how this is how we create a user and if you create n number of user yes same way clear ma yeah The merchant of venice yeah the merchant of venice okay so this is the first thing user what is user how to create a user okay so user under how you create it you go to application called user administration administration okay and then click on users and then create new right so now i will be creating 10 users right like the same okay so can we test whether this user can log into the system how can i test it okay let's take a separate window maybe i'll take incognito window incognito is a kind of chrome feature where it opens a separate session it is not the session that i am belongs to <clears throat> okay and this is our platform url okay open that url and in order to access this URL, user needs to pass their user credentials. 
okay the user credentials i am logging with you this user okay a a b is the login id so for us when you are logging what is your what is your user id here what is the user id for the system administrator generally in a personal instance admin 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 see here maybe you didn't observe it earlier it was mandatory but nowadays uh, it is ss4 ss4 form in the sense uh, it will not show you uh, give me to the left to the left to left the, to the left ah this is fine yeah this is i think it is telling about uh, user role yes but give me one second <coughs> Give me one second. So these are the these are your credentials. Okay, system administrator user user ID is admin and password is this one. Right? Clear, ma? Yes. So every time yes. you are just clicking start building, na, it is connecting to this site with these credentials. Same like this one. It is not asking you to enter every time. It is what it is doing. That is called SS for we call it as SS for single sign on, but we see later your password is this one if you want to share your password to someone this is the password you have to give with this link anyway admin is admin same okay we'll see that later you have also have an account when you are connecting to this system means you have a user account so this is the user account okay and yeah this is your user id and password is the one which you can you see there password field it will not show Okay, so let's log into this particular user that you created. P A S S W O R D one two three dollar. Okay, so the user logged into the system, right? So see here, he logged into the system, but okay, he is not seeing all the options that system administrator is seeing. Right, this is one note you need to keep it. Okay, and second thing is let's come to let's come to our requirement. Okay, so requirement is what we created ten users. Let's say we created ten users. Okay, Antonio, Beshanio, Shailark, okay, heroines, all of them. Now, okay, next thing is he said create a group and uh, add all of the people under the group. Okay. Why group is required? Grouping the people into one place. Why group is required? Group is a collection of users. But why group is required? For teamwork. For teamwork. Can we say in other words? Teamwork. Mm -hmm. What the team will do? Ticket handling. Okay. In IT, every everything, every work we take it, we take in the form of a ticket. Right, because we are using the system for tracking the tickets only. Right, without ticket, maybe we don't accept the work also someplace sometimes. So, the example that you see in the incident creation that is assigned to one specific group and then it moved to different group and then it moved to different group. So, any work or any issue comes to this particular AWS related, then these people will start administrate them or support them. For is, that is the purpose of this particular group right so the group they want aws support is to handle aws work okay clear ma yes no yes yeah so yes. now group okay yes. how you can create a group so go to the group okay same user administration okay groups okay you may see groups everywhere okay but not every see here see, under system security also we have groups Okay, this is a module. It may be the same, it may not be the same, but do, don't click this one when we are doing it for the first time. Okay, use only the navigation that we are seeing here. And you may ask one question, what is the difference between this group and this group, sir? Okay, we will see that. <laughs> not now, but we will see that. So groups, okay, I am creating a group, AWS, AWS support. <coughs> Okay, and the manager of the group is who? Able tutor. And you can give some description. Okay, this group is to handle. Okay, uh, what? <coughs> AWS related uh, work. Tickets. Tickets, work. 
tickets okay simple and then i don't want to keep anything if you have a group email id which is the distribution list okay you can add it here but then you will ask me one question what is distribution list so that and all we can discuss later i'm seema this is the first class and uh, many people doesn't know it terminology so i am skipping many things it doesn't mean like we don't cover them we will be covering them in upcoming sessions once you get little matured but whoever new service now i think uh, you need to bear <laughs> for some time okay so see here i created a group i saved it okay right click i saved it okay i would have i would have show something else see here i am just creating one more thing one more time so this is this was like this right the group new group page is is like this and i given the end details and all and i saved it okay before save i i see in this down down pane okay the down pane is empty okay now after i save i got some options here okay roles members groups and subscription something and all okay so we need something called members members means the users who are part of this group so you created 10 users already and now you created a group and your intention is to add all the members of this particular 10 users to this group right so add it means edit it edit means get them and then add it so see here when i say edit okay add when you say add means it will open a new user record creation okay don't click add for now but edit it okay edit when you say edit it given you this kind of window right you have something left side the left side one is okay the users and the right side one is something empty now first thing is what is this particular option wherever you see from now onwards wherever you see this kind of left side available right side selected and this data you name that as slush bucket clear ma what is this box that you see here the entire option entire selections and all this is slush bucket clear yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. so now abil tutor itself is our uh, manager and antonio antonio ab where is antonio ab okay this is same like uh, your user data only all users will be here and you can also add 10 more people so you just add some randomly let's say these are the users we created okay just add them and uh, we need abraham lincoln also we need to respect him and then something like this okay so i this is how you can add users to group okay i added maybe nine people to the group okay now i need to add one more user okay see here not from this page but i will go to users okay just to see okay users and consider like you need to add maybe we didn't add d no ah, we need to add this daniel gel okay to that group okay open this one okay go down groups okay so you can add users from group you can add group from user both are same see here here it is nine okay now i went to user record and then i am adding a group to user okay this is also same action don't confuse both are same the result is same now he is part of group and if you open all these nine people also okay now if you refresh it it become 10 okay so now 10 people are there if you open all the users separately also they will be having a group name called aws support like this under group section this is how we add users to group this point is clear ma yes yes yes, yes. any notes here hmm. okay so now uh users groups so, okay let's assign one ticket okay so here i am an administrator okay we are talking about uh, where is our user antonio ab okay this guy and this guy is also logged into the system somewhere here in his computer now assign one ticket to him let's see okay go to incident table okay 
and just get one incident which is already there maybe assign that incident to okay aws support team aws i think not everyone can be seen because we need to see how many itl users are there okay fine so aws support team i'll just do one small step okay uh, kind of step where we need to explain a little later not now maybe they just I will explain this part now in, in another two minutes. Okay, so now go back to the ticket. The ticket is assigned to AWS support team. Okay, now under AWS support team, why this? You need to give me one more minute, one more moment. What is this box is called as? Slash Very good. Okay. So now see this ticket is created to and assigned to this group and he see here our our hero. Okay. He took it. Or he didn't he didn't take it. Okay, let's say he didn't take it, but he's part of that group. How okay, how he will see that how he will get to know the information? okay he will get to know the information via email okay the system will send a email to all the people says a ticket is assigned to you then they can tell they can see the ticket and assign this is one way okay our second way is if he goes here maybe we need to refresh her. i don't think refresh will get it we need to log off login let me see yeah because we added to added him to a role so AAB, right? Antonio. A. What is the user account that we created for him? Where is Antonio? AAB. <coughs> AAB and password onto the AAB. And. Uh, So now see how a user will see his tickets okay now he is part of one of the roles so he can see many things now okay that is again our next topic so he will go to incidents okay or maybe my work will be there my team work my work something okay that also that also you can refer see here my group work my work okay if you go to my group work he will see all the tickets that are assigned to his group he may assign see a one user will be part of many groups also man. it's not like a rule like one user should be one one group so my group work if he's part of 10 groups then all the work of all 10 groups also will show here so like this you can see today one ticket is created and it is assigned to our group then he can take the ticket and then start working on it okay so this is the way maybe he can go to incidents and then see okay all the tickets and then take or maybe he there is something called home pages dashboards okay he can set up something like whenever he launches service now okay the home page will load automatically and then the home page will uh, sh show the tickets which are assigned to his team to him and all the same my group work my group my work is showing here okay then you can see this is my group work and this is a ticket it is came to just now came to our group so i will take it and then i will work it okay so this is how you also will be doing your work tomorrow if you join to any project it's not only service now project but even if your team platform is service now or some other also you will be ticketing getting the tickets and you will be assigning to you and then start working on it so from now onwards you are the responsibility to to complete the ticket if you can't do it then you have to immediately move to next one or next group make sense this part is clear, yes. ma? Yes. yes. Right. Everyone, please acknowledge. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Okay. yes, sir. So see here, did you see something like, uh, maybe I would have, 
okay give me one second the next topic is give me one second i will do again this is very important topic so i added him a role but i am removing the role again okay so group is completed we added users to group and we also discussed how ticket will be added to groups yes fine now we need to see the role so now refresh it refresh will not work again log off login So see here, this person logged in, now observed it, he is a first type, he don't have any privileges, okay. I am using one word, one terminology called privileges, okay. The privileged word I used here, okay. These are normal customers where they can see plain things and these people have more privileges where they can see more, they can access more, right. Agree? So same way, now if you see the instance, this person, he is not part of any he don't have any privileges he's a plain user initially when we created he's a plain user with respect to roles what is role we will just to discuss but you don't have any privileges that is the reason he can access or you can see very limited options and i can say these options are available for en everyone entire organization let's say if we have one lakh users means these applications or these particular uh, modules or these options are available for everyone Till this point clear ma yeah yes others yeah. Yeah. yes yeah. now okay we see little things here see here there is this these and all applications right so let's see one application called incident application okay i will be showing some page okay in order to explain something don't confuse okay this application just click this edit option okay as per the configuration and definition of this application, it is telling you that make this application available only for these roles. One is ITIL role and S second one is SN underscore incident underscore read. Okay, what is role now? Role is a kind of privilege. Okay, so it gives you it or it gets the control of accesses. So we have something called roles under same user administration and in this one you have so many roles okay system administrator is part of admin role okay so system administrator is part of admin role that is the reason admin have lot of privileges to see or do everything almost everything 90 percent 95 percent i can say okay why i got all the accesses why i can see all of them because my this system administrator is the part of this role a uh, few minutes back when when i was showing the front page okay mona was pointing here user role admin when we are creating this one it automatically took admin that is the reason you can do all the admin activities development code everything implementations and all okay but the guy which we created is not even having any role that is the reason he can see nothing except the options which are available and for entire globe see here he can see farmer query application no? just to go and see farmer query application here okay you see an incident it is assigned to itl people but if you see this application it doesn't have any role defined that means it is available for everyone in in service no system there is a rule if you restrict something to someone it works if you don't mention any restriction then it will apply for all clear ma can you repeat that statement yeah so give me one second uh, give me one second uh, 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 uh. see this one incident is one application okay and uh, farmer is one more application okay there is farmer okay so incident application is restricted to itil and sn underscore incident underscore read that means this application will be available only for the people who are belongs to this role this is clear ma 
Yes. Okay. And Parmer application, it doesn't restrict it with any role. Okay, the roles are empty. That means it is available for every user. This is the statement. Got it. Thank you. So that is the reason even Abraham, Antonio AB is a plain user, you can still see this application. Okay, but incident application you couldn't see. Why? Because it is not part of the role that where the incident application is configured with. Clear? Everyone? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. Now, okay, uh, the Abel Tutor came up and said, okay, these people, the AWS support people should have access to, okay, ITIL based applications, ITSM based applications. So, they need ITIL role. Okay, this is what our other requirement. Now, when we say uh, they need 10 people are there, okay. So, if you go to the group, we have 10 people, right? These 10 people. When you are assigning roles, see the statement, Ma. This is very, very, very important interview question. When you are assigning a role to user, okay, you don't directly assign a role to user. The best practice is you assign a role to group. Okay, see here. See, first observe this one. This Antonio and remaining users also. I will open some random uh, three users, even Abraham Lincoln and some as Alicia. So three, these three users just observe it. You don't have ITL role. You don't have uh, ITL role. Okay, and you don't have ITL role, right? So now the best practice is whenever I want to add a role to people, I will add the role to group, not individually. Okay. Now I am adding the role ITL role. <laughs> okay. To the group. So when I add a role to the group, automatically all the group members will be inherited with the role. That means from now onwards, the group members will be ITL users. Prove me. Okay, I will prove. Go to user who is part of that group and then see the role. Okay, there are so many roles came automatically along with this one, but ITL role is added. Okay, here also. Why so many roles came? That is again a different question. Maybe we, I can explain it till later. But our intention is ITL role, ITL role, and ITL role. You seen this? Yes, everyone? Yes. Yes. You got it, my everyone? So I added a role to group. Okay. And then all the group members got the ITL role. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Yes. Now, okay, as the incident application is aligned to this particular role, okay, the person Antonio AB, he should get it, right? So, now he, this is his page. This is his page from his computer and if you refresh it, okay, he can't see. Maybe initially, let's see. Ah, he's not seeing. Why? Because some con some low-level changes happen. No? So, he need, he need to log off and log in to get the things applied. Or he need to clear something cache and do, okay? So, log off, login is fine. Okay, so now I am logging off. I am now Antonio. Okay, I am logging off and logging in so that let's see the access. Okay, now if you see all the applications which are having or which are aligned to ITL are visible here. You got it now? Compared to one minute ago, okay, the access of Antonio and now the access of Antonio is different, it is added. Why it is being added? Because he is part of ITL role and he could he can do all the activities of ITL role. This is clear? Yes. Yeah. Everyone, clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I am not Antonio now. I closed it. Okay, so so far what we see in Ma? There are some important questions I am skipping. Maybe we will see tomorrow. Okay. So, users we seen, groups we seen and roles we seen. Okay. Maybe the next one is impersonation. This is our last point. We can complete and then continue tomorrow. Impersonate. Okay. Now, I added one user to one role. Okay. I, I added Antonio or Alicia or Abraham Lincoln to incident role. I want to see whether they are getting access to this particular application called incident. Or maybe you created tomorrow you created one application called XYG 
and then you added that xyz to xyz application to some role okay uh, maybe some abc role that you created you want to test it whether the abc role user have access to this application or not how we normally test it just tell me okay let's say i have a, okay i have an application ma here okay i have an application uh, give me one second instead of telling you hmm. okay so now farmer application is there so farmer application what i am doing is i am limiting this application to itl okay now this application farmer application is limited to itl users now i want to test this whether itl person is getting the access of this one or not how i can test it just tell me impersonate <laughs> impersonate okay okay so others maybe you need to log into one of the itl user and then see right that's how we know so far agree Yes. Okay, but we don't be knowing the passwords and it is not ethical to log it to some other account always Okay, in system we, we even have control to get the passwords and all okay if it is SS4 environment We don't be having password also, but we don't log into their instance even though we have access same like bank manager Okay, then how can I check it? How can I test it? Okay? Without logging to their system, without logging to their account, we have one option when you are admin or when you have some special privileges like impersonation. What you do is you go here, say click impersonate user and then give their name. Okay, I took the name who is part of I, in, uh, who is part of ITL role. Okay, so click it. So the entire session, the entire navigation now he is like who it is impersonated it is jumped to some other account whatever you are seeing here is her things now not the system administrator so impersonation is an option which allows you to shift to different account to see the configurations and accesses this is very 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 important one why because we will be developing many things per users per roles per groups that time how you check it so see here if this is your requirement okay make this one <coughs> make it for ital okay and now uh, yeah give me one second okay now uh, you just tested it you navigated with one of the user okay and then you tested it and you are making sure that where is that sorry this is not the one i'm confusing you people okay this is the page and now you are now you are telling like okay this is fine right now i want to do the negative test also for for uh, for positive test case yes alisa is getting this application because she is part of itl what could be the negative test case is it getting or not in other role other role non itl role so get one person from non itl role and then impersonate with them and then see this particular farmer should not be there you, you are getting ma maybe we need to find one person who is not itl let's see wow i don't know who is but i think he have itl role he could see it okay we need to find one person nice person who doesn't have itl role and then uh, impersonate but our main point is here like what is impersonation what is the use of impersonation how service now people will use impersonation is that clear yes yes, yes. Thank you.